Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Martai. I am a 25 year old South African attorney who recently moved to the Netherlands. First of all, an apology for how I sound. I've recently gotten back from South Africa and I just have the roughest, scruffiest voice from being sick. I think it's COVID. I don't want to say it's COVID, but I think it's COVID. So just bear with my voice for today. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the biggest culture shocks I've had since moving to the Netherlands from South Africa. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. So the first the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is efficiency. And I don't think anyone who ever hasn't lived in a third world country, let alone Africa, will ever be able to understand what true inefficiency means. I don't think I've ever in my life been as pleasantly surprised as I was when I realized how efficient everything is in the Netherlands. The entire process of establishing our life here took about two to three weeks. And above and beyond that, most of the delays were caused by problems with documents that we were waiting for from South Africa. When we had to go and register at our local gemeente, the whole process took about 30 minutes. Now, just to give you some context, I had to wait six weeks to get a new passport in South Africa. And when I finally was informed that my passport was ready, I had to wait for an hour outside in a row just to collect it. Point of the story being the efficiency here is just insane. Everything from organizing transport or opening bank accounts, anything like that, it just happens in the blink of an eye. The second culture shock I'm going to be talking about is safety. Um, I've spoken about this in my previous videos, but coming from South Africa, I don't think it can be a shock to anyone that we have really bad safety and crime rates. So when I arrived in the Netherlands, I was so pleasantly surprised by how safe it is. I go for a walk completely alone every single day here. So I'm out for a walk in the park. The sun is out and I just had one of those moments happen to me. It makes you so happy to be living in a new country. I dropped my jersey. I didn't realize that it had dropped until I was like maybe 800 meters away from it. I was immediately very negative because in South Africa, it would be gone. I walked back as quickly as I could and there it was on the bench, just waiting for me. Some kind local had found it and just put it there. And that just made me so happy. Now this is unfortunately virtually impossible in South Africa. If you go out for a walk alone, your risk of robbery or assault or even death, I wish I was joking but I'm not, is too likely. In fact, people here are so used to being safe. The other day when I was in the grocery store, I saw that a lady had forgotten something in one of the aisles and she just left her phone and her wallet there while she went to run and grab her next item. <laughs> That would never happen in South Africa. It would be stolen the second she turned her shoulders away. So that was a huge shock for me, just how safe people are and how safe people feel as well. But do not be lulled into a false sense of security. Your bicycles are not safe here. There's this saying that's been going around that says that you haven't really lived in the Netherlands until you've had a bike stolen. And unfortunately, my husband has now become victim to it. His bike was stolen from right outside our front door. So clearly we are now officially living in the Netherlands. It was not pleasant, but apparently that happens everywhere. So if you're ever in the Netherlands, just be sure to double or triple lock your bike or even better, store it inside. But seriously, being able to do virtually anything on my own has been one of the best and most freeing experiences of my entire life. And I'm so grateful for the safety we have here. Culture shock number three, I don't know if it's a culture shock, but I was certainly pleasantly shocked, is the weather. And now before you say anything, I want to preface this portion by saying I was so thoroughly warned about how bad the weather would be in the Netherlands that I was basically preparing for the absolute worst. My expectations were on the ground, below the ground. I was assuming that I was saying bye for the sun. Maybe it's because of that that I've been so pleasantly surprised, but I have been shocked by the amount of sunlight that we get here at the moment. I feel like I should also add that I live in the Brabant region, which is a lot more south than the well-known Randstad, and I think we definitely do get more sunlight here. Somebody please correct me on it. But on Honestly, I have been blown away by the amount of good weather days that we've had, but I will say you should do the wise and the Dutch thing and always have an umbrella ready for emergency rain scenarios because those do happen a lot as well. Culture shock number four relates to money. It didn't take very long for me to realize that the Dutch have a very interesting attachment with money, particularly how to save money. I am not joking when I say that seven out of 10 advertisements that I get in a day are related 
to specifically how Dutch people can save money in their day-to-day -day lives. I have been informed by many a Dutch individual that I shouldn't shop at the grocery store that I did because it is too expensive. Just for comparison, the prices at the store that I was using was pretty synonymous to the store that I was used to shopping in in South Africa. So in my mind, if they were equal, it was pretty low. But it seems there are better, more economic shops to shop at and they didn't hesitate to inform me that, which is very helpful. So thank you for those tips. I have also been told that I shouldn't use a washing machine because it takes up too much energy. All of the appliances in our apartment were automatically on the eco setting. And when they took us through the walkthrough of our apartment, we were informed how to manage our heating so that that our costs remained as low as possible. All of this is very helpful, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I'm not used to it coming from South Africa where saving money just isn't as emphasized in the day to day as it is here. One thing that particularly shocked me was the fact that they even have apps that track when electricity is more and less expensive and which alert you when it is the most economical to do your laundry. So that has been quite a culture shock for me, but I've really enjoyed watching it. I think it's great to be careful with your money. There's the saying in Afrikaans, werk mooi met jou cente in Iran which basically translates to work nicely with your cents and then the rands or the currency of your choice will sort themselves out and I completely agree with that. This next one really qualifies as a complete culture shock and that is the way that the Dutch people keep their curtains and their windows open. That means if you're walking past on the street you can just look into anyone's apartment. I don't want to show anyone's house because I think that's illegal but every single house that I've walked past now has their blinds open you can see clearly in all the way to the backyard you can see them sitting watching TV or working or making food and it is so weird to me. I presume that it's because people just want light in their apartments and I also presume that there's a general courtesy rule going around that you're not supposed to look into someone's apartment but I am so curious so every now and then I find myself just peeping in. I started to do a little bit of research and it started to make more sense to me. South Africa is one of the most unsafe countries in the world. That means everything is locked up. You don't want someone on the street to see what you have in your house because it may elicit them to potentially rob you. So you really want to hide your assets as well as possible. On the other hand, as of 2024, the Netherlands is one of the top 15 safest countries in the entire world. And I think being safer relates to more openness and not being as careful with locking doors and leaving curtains open. So I think that makes sense but I was very shocked by that one. My second to last culture shock concerns Dutch directness. For those of you who perhaps don't know, the Dutch are quite well known for being extremely to the point when they say or do anything. Some foreigners appreciate it, others don't. I find it very endearing and I also think above all that the Dutch people don't care but I've found that if the Dutch need to say something, even if it will cause uncomfortability, they will just say it as it is. And this is very different from South Africa where people are very sensitive towards saying things that will make others feel uncomfortable but I kind of like the directness you're saving a lot of time it's efficient and like I said best of all the Dutch probably don't care what I think about it I don't think the Dutch are trying to be rude or disrespectful whatsoever it's just the normal Dutch way of going about life I will say though that sarcasm is a large part of South African vocabulary and therefore part of my vocabulary and I've noticed that my sarcastic jokes just they aren't landing here. The other day I was in the rock climbing gym and I needed to purchase a new pair of rock climbing shoes. The shop assistant was kind enough to tell me that I was able to try on the shoes and maybe climb one or two routes with it before I committed to them. We tried on a couple of pairs and on the last one I realized this is the pair for me. I'm definitely going to purchase them and then I spent say 10 minutes on the walls as opposed to two minutes. I went back down. Of course I'm going to buy the shoes. It would be incredibly rude not to buy the shoes and the shop assistant asked me so what did you think of them? And I saw Cassie said oh haha ha, they're very nice but I don't think I'm going to take them hey and he looked at me so shocked and horrified and I was immediately like no no I'm kidding I'm definitely gonna purchase them that was a joke and needless to say he didn't find it very funny and I learned my lesson that sarcasm is not spoken as often in the Netherlands as it is in South Africa last culture shock I'm going to be speaking about is probably the funniest one it's one where I have spat out something I'm eating or drinking or where I audibly gasp every time it happens the awkward translations between certain Dutch words and certain Afrikaans words. I really don't want to say it, but for your enjoyment, I will. A cat in Dutch is a... A... 
in Afrikaans is the foulest derogatory swear word that exists. And I have heard this word thrown around on advertisements, in conversations, and I just gasp every time. And they really don't realize how traumatizing it is for us as South Africans to hear it. So there are a couple of unfortunate translations. All of them have led to a good laugh. You mustn't take anything like that too seriously. That concludes my video for today. If you've made it this far, you might as well like and subscribe down below. If this video gets, say, let's make it 300 likes, then I'll do a second episode of it because there are so many other culture shocks that I could have mentioned. Bye, thank you that you have watched it today. I will be able to speak for those who can understand. I am now busy with Afrikaans to talk. Please leave a glimlach emoticon under and I will see you in the next video. Fine day and a nice day. Bye!